room on the hot rod. Right now we're chilling at about 73. He just bought this watch. We're figuring out how to use it. Um, for now, all we need to know is what his heart rate is. Right now it says 70. Okay. His fat burning zone is somewhere between 130, uh, 120, and 140. Let's say just because I don't know yet. Now, accountability for me. I'll know if he tried on this set of legs. And this is once again before he's even worn it one time. He doesn't have any idea what he's about, what he's in for. But this is going to say 150 sometime today at the end of squats. So any time it drops down to 110, he goes again. Or if he's had a minute rest and it's not at 110, he goes again. Those are his two senses of accountability. New best friend. And then when I sleep, it's going to be uh, approximately. When, when you when you sleep, I'll bet it says uh, acknowledging your resting is 69 right now. Probably 60, maybe 55 at the lowest, right? which is a pretty good pretty good resting. This all the way down. It's like it's a, it's all the way up to this level. It's always better to do it like that. Gotcha. Okay. Set the, the, the next set after this is uh, forward. Forward like this. Yep. Okay. And then all the way off my knee, all the way down like this. Hold up here. Yep. I'll straighten your arms. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah. And this is the third set. Yeah. Yeah. Bend over the shoulder. Okay. Now remember, this, get your hands up. Never, never set those down. Give me an archer. Okay? Now keep those elbows as far that way as you can get them. Your elbows that way. That's your hands. Your elbows. There you go. Now, now do it. Get your elbows that way. Get your elbows that way. Get your elbows that way. Keep those waist facing each other. Thank you. Now do it. Good. Right there, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Nice video. Right right. That was just a quick recap of shoulder warm up, we do four sets of 20. We're gonna do side, out about 25%, straight in front, bend over. Well, he's already gone through those, we're gonna get right into legs. Ready? What's it now? 112. Okay. Now I knew it was going to raise a little bit because it wasn't all the way set. So around 110 to 115 is getting warm. Acknowledging that's what we drop back down to when we start again. So if this was his set, what's your heart rate? 118. 118. We'd wait till 110. Now he's about to start his set, so this doesn't really count. First set of legs today is gonna to be another warm up. It's gonna be 15 leg ups, single leg, not altering as fast as he can do it. So, 15 one leg, 15 the other, that's one set. As fast as you can do it. Two, three, faster, four, faster. 
master. Uh, there you go. That's it. Yeah, fight. Hey, you see that? Fight. Come on. Come on. Come on. 14, you're supposed to juggle. 15. All right. 132. All right. 132. Now we're starting to get warm. What's it now? 138. 138. All right. That's a little more impressive. And we almost hit our number. I want to get him to 150. I'll bet you he hits 150 on this set. Okay. Now we're going to do a total of five sets of step ups. The first one was with no weight. Now we're going to add weight. These don't look like much, but they add up. Fifteen pounds. This is alternating. One, two, three. Okay. So it's this is all one set. One set, twenty total. Okay. So I'm doing. Second time we've trained, he said, Dave, how hard am I supposed to go? How do I know, you know, he's kind of excited about his new toy. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You train as hard as you can. You absolutely murder yourself, and I'm sorry to use that adjective, but you kill it with no guilt left in the gym. If you think you could have done more, do it. You do not want to be, like I like to word it, the boxer that wants to beat up the ref after he lost the fight. Where was that energy? Two rounds ago, buddy. Do not leave the gym disappointed. Do not be the fighter mad that you lost the fight. Win it every time. Okay, that was your 30 seconds. Let's do it again. Is that the same way? Uh, yes. Well, this time you're doing 30. Ready? Yep. First set was no weights, set of 20. Second set, with weights, set of 20. Third set, third set with weights, set of 30. Come on. Anytime that happens, just readjust. 
He broke it. We've had this thing for five minutes. Who makes this? Garmin. I told him by the board. <laughs> I did it. One sixty. That's like ten seconds after we finish. I'll bet that was a one seventy, and we didn't get to see it. He gives me one seventy one time today, and I'm happy. Okay, now last set. He is officially warm. Now we're gonna throw him some weight. Four sets into it. Last set is gonna be crazy. This is for a set of 10, each leg, not alternating, okay? I went from 15 pounds in each hand to 35 pounds in each hand. This should be a lot harder. This is a much more structured uh, step up and much slower, okay? But that does not mean you get to slow down your movement from rep to rep. Once you get your motion, keep it going. Count on each. Okay, each leg. Pick your weakest leg first. Yes. Three. Never been that hard. Five. Five. Seven. Yeah. Eight. Nice. have the exact same thing. ACL and meniscus tear, and that hits home to me, it does hard. Because I had a doctor show me on a screen, like 40 inches, like a, a huge bad boy flat screen. This, this was the top of uh, my femur. And this was my knee. It was supposed to be like this. I had flattened it out. Okay, there's nothing there. Meniscus is gone. Okay, that's the pad that's supposed to make the whole thing cool in between, right? So this is supposed to be rounded, this fist, and this is supposed to be rounded with a meniscus in between. Well, I ended up with this, and he showed it to me. 
It was quite a depressing picture. And then he gave me the excuse, what I call my 10 year excuse. He said, Kimberly, you're done running. You're done um, playing sports, you're done wakeboarding, you're done skiing, you're done, you're done doing basically anything mobile. And so what I call it is I became the king of the standstill sports. I play a mean game of darts. Okay, I'm really good at pool now. Horseshoes, don't even touch me, I'm the ringer king. Now how do I know how to play those games when there's absolutely no athletic real ability? I'm sorry for all you super athletes out there that play those sports, but really it didn't take much athletic ability for me. I didn't have to move around. I could stand on my bad leg and even learned how to throw horseshoes without taking a step. When I finally got over it, I was telling him earlier about my story and you know basically I got so mad at myself I couldn't take it anymore. So I went, you know what, the heck with my knee. If I'm gonna take my own head off anyway, I might as well run my knee off. Really, how mad am I? I'm gonna spare my knee when I'm feeling this terrible about myself? So that being my reality, I realized my knee didn't matter and I had a case of the I don't care. So I don't care, get this fat off me. Give me my new face. Get this reality changed. And at the expense of my knee that's already jacked up anyway, I don't care. So my answer to him is, if you're happy with the way you look, save your knee. If you're not, strengthen it. Strengthen it by doing step ups with 15 pounds in each hand. I didn't say do a squat with 400 pounds. I didn't say go over there and deadlift 600 pounds. I said, give me 40 step ups with 50, 15 pounds in each hand, okay? If you do that enough times, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of reps, the muscles, the tendons will strengthen. I, I, I swear, I used to not be able to walk across a linoleum floor, and I'd hit a rug, and, and literally, I get chills even thinking about it, but I'd walk along my breakfast, and hit the rug, and I'd feel my whole knee go, Shh, just like that, just moving around. You guys, those of you with injuries like that, it will go away, trust it. Be nice to it, don't get crazy. I didn't, notice I didn't have him doing jump squats, or, or jumping up high impact is what I call it. Anything high impact, run from it. But this very structured move, take to failure. So don't worry about it. That was my long answer. Ready for squats? Notice this bench. This bench is lower than a normal bench. This could be a... Uh, a box. It could be one of your sense of accountability is. Based on that, hold these weights. So you're gonna drop down until he sits. Then he's gonna pop back up. He's gonna do that 12 times. The reason why I want him to sit down, or at least touch, is because most people don't sit far enough into it. I want him to sit down like a baby. These are called sumo squats. This allows him to sit deeper without putting a lot of uh, leverage on his lower back, acknowledging he's never done this before. Super wide grip. Yep. Now, these arms will stay straight, and this will have an arch. with the, uh, the uncomfortableness of the structure, okay? So his next sets, you watch with the same weight, he'll do it a little easier, but his heart rate will get higher. Doesn't make sense, but it does. Now, we've been resting for about 
I don't know, 30 seconds? He has to go again because his heart rate already says 110. So flipping it around, we're not going to wait the minute. We're going to go on the heart rate monitor. Let's go. Since it was 110, I started. Yep. A trick, if you're uncomfortable, is to move the bench. back up to about 130. Now legs are a large muscle group. I need to get his heart rate higher. But I can easily, knowing that I can have him do something a little bit faster and higher reps. Right now I want him to do what he's not used to doing. Okay, And that's heavier weights. I need a deeper muscle tissue tear. Right now it's about literally tearing the muscles as deep as we can without hurting or injuring him and letting his scar over and get bigger. We need those deep, deep tissue tears. He's used to the top of the tear which he obviously, he's, you know, he's performing very well with those. So we're gonna spend a little time doing these deep squats. He's just done two sets of these. I'm gonna take away his accountability, his bench. He's still gonna sit down all the way into it as now he knows the imaginary bench is there. He also knows he can get back up. So literally I had him do 20 squats of something that he was uncomfortable with, giving him a security blanket, which was the bench. Now I'm getting rid of it. His heart rate should get higher. Let's go, heart rate. Let's go. Once again, acknowledging that I like doing these videos with somebody that I've never trained with before that's uh, somewhat new to an exercise so that we can see not only what to do right, but some of the mistakes that we've made that are very easy to point out with somebody new. Is there anything you want to wear a belt for? Nope. It's on a pass. Same as I I mean, you could wear a belt, but if you wear a belt squatting for a pass, people make fun of you. If you wear a squat, if you, if you squat and wear a belt and you're only squatting 100 pounds, guaranteed you're getting made fun of. Sorry. Oh. Yes. One. Two. Sit down like a baby. Three. Four. Get down. Don't you trust yourself each time. Remember where you're looking. You're looking up that bull stick. Isn't that fun to watch? <laughs> 31. 
What's fun to know is how many more calories a minute you're burning at 160 as opposed to the 60 when you started. And we've been talking about diet today too. We've been going over a little bit of that. He said, Dave, I said, I need you to have some, um, what did it say? I, said, I want you to have some dextrose with, with your workout. And he's like, well, would that just be the sugar I use then on my stuff? Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, if, when I'm cooking, if I need to add sugar to something, what do you mean? Well, you know, like, oh, I think you're getting it now. There's no adding sugar to your foods. It's only during your workout. So try not to manipulate little things in and out of your uh, equation for success. Uh, we just finished up step ups. Just finished up some squats. Now we're gonna get into lunges. When was the last time you did lunges? Uh, I did it at the gym about a week or so ago. Good. Uh, how did you do them? Uh, I typically didn't do any weight, just, you know, need a, need a floor. Need a floor. Okay, so typically he doesn't do weight, he does his knee to floor. Um, he's out of, where are you out of New York? He's out of New York, trains with somebody how? Three times a week, three to four times a week. Three times a week, three to four times a week. Now I'm gonna put 20 pound dumbbells in each hand, and we're gonna go lunge. And we're gonna see how many of those weight free lunges did him any good if he had to add, let's say, 40 pounds to his back, which is, what, an eight year old kid? So if he had to save an eight-year-old kid, could he up a mountain? I mean, I take myself anywhere, you guys, I'm sorry. Use whatever analogies you want, but take yourself there. Could you carry here, 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 anywhere, and climb up a mountain in, a, in an uncomfortable position to save maybe even a possible family member's life? Or if you want to stay positive, let's go with a bucket of gold. What happens if you found a bucket of gold down at the bottom of the mountain? Could you get it up? It's only 40 pounds. Look what 40 pounds is worth on, on, on line right now, tell me that you couldn't take yourself mentally somewhere to get your lunges done with weights. Come on, everybody. So he just said, what am I gonna do, across the room? You haven't trained with Kimberly before, have you? <laughs> across the room. Each leg, and I want him dropping to here. Knee doesn't go over toe, you're good. Boom. Boom. Okay? Yeah. How far am I done? It's going to be upstairs or? You're going to go about, it's like about 35, 40 yards, 50 yards that way and back. Okay. So, like, I think you're getting just like a thing. See where those plants end? Yeah. yeah. Starting heart rate 95. Nope, don't even curl. Leave it by your side. Get down into it. There it is. Means turn around. 50% done. This is I want you to do half the speed. So it's a one, two, up. One, two, up. Get that step way further ahead. Way further ahead. Good. 
You'll know if you've done it right if that front leg is a 90. That's a 45. Pause. Do this. Do this for a little bit. See what you have to do with your legs. Get it down. Get it down. Down, 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 down. That's what I want each one to feel like. Tears here, tears here. Yes. Give me some more of those. I want legs. Yeah. You know if you're doing right by that front leg. The back one I don't care about. Thank you. It's a huge cheat if you step clear out there, I promise. Feel it my ass. Hell yeah. He says he feels it in his. We got kids around, but. Come on, go. <sighs> wide steps, wide steps, get down. 90, 90, 90, yes. Uh, Come on. Come on. Five. Four. Sit into it. Three. Two. This is your legs, not mine. One. Heart rate. 51. 151. Two. 152. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at that camera. Show them how you feel. <laughs> now, he's not supposed to be able to talk right now. It's exactly about the look he's supposed to have on his face. He's supposed to hate the camera right this second. It's beautiful. I don't think he knows this, but he has four more sets of that. Okay? My job isn't to be his best friend. My job is to make his legs hurt. My job is to make him lower himself down to the toilet tomorrow morning. When he gets up, at work, he, you know, he sits at a desk for work. Every single time he gets up to move, I guarantee when his receptionist called, clicks in and says, come into my office, he's gonna remember Kimberly. Because he has to get out of his chair. And every inch that he ascends is gonna hurt. So I don't like necessarily doing that to clients because then I lose them, they go away. But then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do a dot com, I'm gonna do my membership site, and I can have anybody that wants to train the way I train, train with me. And I don't get disheartened if they leave because they were too sore. You know what, I'm sorry folks, you're too sore. I really am. But you should be thanking me. In fact, you're welcome if you're too sore. Because that means we actually did something. Be mad at me when you're not too sore. All right. 123, we're gonna rate till it gets to 110. Now. Now acknowledging that um, we don't want him having swimmer's legs, right? We don't want him all over the place. And he is beat. As a trainer, I know he's beat because I saw his heart rate. I know what I just did to him. So I don't have to look into his eyes and go, is he trying, is he trying, is he trying? No, I can see it. He's trying. So rather than tell him to man up, and worry about him hurting himself or dropping a knee to the cement, I'm gonna get rid of one of these dumbbells. He's still gonna do his four sets, but he's not gonna do them with all the weight he started with. He's gonna do uh, one weight on the opposite side, all the way down, flip it and come back. So essentially it's the same amount of lunges, the same distance, just with 20 less pounds, and a little bit different for the core because the weight will be on one side. Yeah. 110, and up. <clears throat> time getting to parallel if your accountability is not what you think it is even if your heart rate's that high and you're in that much pain I don't care the whole point is to work the muscle intended whether you're in pain or not so at the end of every step acknowledging he doesn't have to keep track of his number he has to keep track of his distance so there's no number what does he keep track of besides his own pain accountability would be parallel so when his leg top of his thigh quad is parallel to the ground or his hamstring however you want to talk about it or his knee is at 90 degrees then I want him to say parallel, and he gets to come back up. So at the bottom of every step, parallel, up, parallel, up. That way he knows before he even starts to drive back up, he went down to where he's supposed to be in the first place. Yep. Your whole brain is on your knee. Parallel. Parallel. Say it. Yes. Parallel. Parallel. Positive affirmation. Parallel. 
Parallel. Parallel. Parallel. Yes. Parallel. Who wants Parallel. legs? Parallel. Come on. Parallel. Come on. Parallel. Come on. Parallel. That's parallel. 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 Yeah, that one sucked. Parallel. <laughs> What's the dip in the weight? All right, flip around. Good job, buddy. Now, you're gonna see this on film, but the last 10 of those were much better than the first 30. There and back, those ones were better. So, great job, man. You'll see this on video, that was beautiful. Let's go, this is the rest. Same, same thing, parallel. Now, front legs gotta be parallel. 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 Yeah. sense that his heart rate would be 160 with a 20 pound dumbbell as opposed to 130 with a hundred pounds in each arm or in his arms really it doesn't have to make sense you guys just know what the heart rate monitor is supposed to say and make it say that right now he's taking a rest we're gonna let his heart rate get back down to 110 span over there look at him actually that's a man training leg day yeah, he knows I'm over here talking to the camera. He knows he's got 30 seconds. He's going to take every single bit of it. Let's go over and ask him what he's thinking. I'm trying to bang him up. Hey, what were you thinking right now? To be honest, I don't want to do the next one. <laughs> I love honesty. Really? Why? Because it sucks. Because it sucks. But why are you going to do the next one? Look at the camera for everybody else that doesn't want to do the next one. Why are you going to do the next one? Because I'm accountable for my own progress. You're accountable. Because you want what? What do you want? Why are you here? Success. And the only way to get it is to have your own David Kimberly <laughs> in your head. That's a good shot, thank you. Now, you didn't just pour water all over your face, did you? Okay. Well, I'm not sweating. It's not that hot out here. Look at your heart rate. 14. What does that mean? That means whether you're by yourself. <laughs> Or you got a David Kimberly screaming at you. That means you gotta go again. That's your David Kimberly on the run. You don't need me. You don't. You train with me, you get a couple of different equations, and that's your new best friend. Switch arms is doing it. This is number three. Last one. Ah, we already got a recording say we're doing four. It's basically keeping your butt from engaging. So don't lean, just drop. Drop, yeah! I know you felt that in your butt that time. Get down, get down! Thank you. Alright, flip around. Nope, 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 flip around. Let's go. Yes. Parallel, scream it! Parallel. Come on. Parallel. Why are you here? Parallel. To get parallel. 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 Slow down, slow down. We Parallel. love pain. We love pain. Parallel. We're here to be in pain. Kimberly, put me in some pain. Please. Come on. I want to be in pain. Because I know pain equals muscle. 
Yes. Wide stance. That's why you have an archive. Parallel. Yes. Get it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We're going through the motion. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's 100 and, 155 heartbeats of motion, okay? But we're starting to lose immensely. This is exactly where you're gonna get. I love this guy, but I'm gonna call him out. He's got about 20 steps left. We're gonna get to parallel. He's saying parallel out loud and he's not going to parallel. How bad does it hurt? It's killing you, isn't it? Okay, perfect example. Take a second, stop in the middle of your set. David Kimberly said you gotta go up and back, you don't get to stop. But you know what? If you're not doing it right, just take, just take 15 seconds. Gather yourself mentally. Remember why you're here. Verbal affirmation, something positive, something negative. I don't care what you say to yourself. And go. But reset so you didn't waste that last 20 steps. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh! Parallel. 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 Yes. Parallel. Get down. Parallel. Yeah. Parallel. There it is. We slowed down, we're moving. Parallel. Now we're training again. again when I stopped him he was at 150 drop back down to about probably 120 in that 20 seconds and I jumped back up to about 135 still isn't bad for a quarter of the set you know we, we stopped him basically about a quarter out from finishing Good job man anything you want to share with yourself while you're watching <clears throat> this is your inspirational video man the visual of, um saving someone's life. The visual of saving someone's life. Made it the last 20 steps easier. You got a niece or something you care about? A little pink something that would just break your heart if you couldn't drag her butt up the mountain? Think about, you know, 9-11. You know, there you go. Wow. Upstairs. Yeah. <sighs> well, you did take it there. He, um, it doesn't matter what you think about it. I just said it 30 seconds ago. It's a matter where to take your head. If, you know, he just mentioned 9-11, um, wherever you go mentally to try to be that hero or prepare to be that hero, go there. You might be a hero for a, a day like 9-11, or you might be a hero uh, to your four-year-old son or nephew or even, you know, your wife or your husband, anybody, as they see you do this, the whole reason why I have a career is to show people that it's possible and you're showing them that it's possible. Now, he's gonna see this video. This is for him to know it's possible, okay? But he's taking himself mentally somewhere else right now to get it done. All right. This is gonna be the exact same thing with your heart rate. 102. Okay. Heart rate says 102 means we go again. Boom. This is where his hands are gonna be. Go the other way. Wait, wait, let's ask him real quick before he forgets how much pain he's in. The last half an hour can be discounted with four tablespoons of salad dressing. Is it worth it? No. Nope. Um, four cookies is 400 calories. Is it worth it? No. 
More cookies, I swear. Ralph's brand or Chips Ahoy? That's 400 calories, my friends. Is it worth it again? One more time, is it worth no, this? It's not worth it. What's your favorite cheat? <sighs> Dessert at a nice restaurant. Dessert at a nice restaurant. Tiramisu, lava hot cake, <laughs> cheesecake, anything, man, I can go on forever. Okay? Sometimes it's even to come down to, easy to get rid of lava cake, sometimes it's gonna come down to, is it worth getting the bottle of wine or maybe just a couple glasses tonight? Money, money aside, who cares? Really? Now, we like to drink still. We haven't talked about that yet. It's in the equation, we accounted for it. Okay, those are calories in. I can't change some people's lives all the way. Now, personally, I like to drink too, but I just don't get to because my goal. Now, how much do we get to drink? Well, that depends on how many of uh, lunges he likes to do without a rest for free. How many weeks he likes to work and then rip up his paycheck. Okay. Turn it off with a parallel. Get it down. It's not just another word, it means something. Yeah. Yeah. Swimming. Love it. It's okay to move a little bit. I'd rather you push so much you do wobble a little bit. Get it down. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yep, yep, I got you. Come on. I'm walking right next to you in case you fall over. Come on, to the dumbbell. One, two, and one more. Drop it. Fifty. One fifty. <laughs> Have a seat, buddy. About four minutes ago and two sets ago, you were saying, as I asked you, what are you thinking right now? And you said, I don't want to do the next set. And then we kind of talked a little bit about inspiration, why you're going to do it, taking your brain somewhere, affirmations. You just finished. What, what are your thoughts now? Climb the mountain, accomplish my goal. I feel good about that. I don't think I could do it, but push through. And tell me, um, tell me about training a muscle group that's probably one of the least fun muscle <laughs> groups to train. It's the worst one to train. Okay. Okay. Nobody sees them, nobody cares, right? I mean, I care, other people care, and you care too, but in the end, how many times have you trained legs in the last two years? Uh, <laughs> not many. Okay, and we prioritized it. We went over why you need to train legs, as do with calories burned, testosterone release, there's a million different reasons why, and we don't have time to cover them all right now, but I think he's bought in. He understands that legs get trained at least once a week. Okay, they're a larger muscle group, so with all the cardio we're gonna be doing, um, he doesn't really have to train him more than that. Plus, he doesn't get paid for his legs. He will have calves, and he will have an amazing butt, both of which are non-existent right now. He has to earn them. Might as well put bumps on the lower half, too. So, once again, you just did something you didn't want to do, and it's not a priority. How do you feel about that? Good. Good. Now that it's over, I feel great. <laughs> That's always how it is, my friends. It's always how it is. Look forward to the end. What is the end? The end of today is being able to stop. The end, true end, ends with a result. And what is the result? The end is the result, which is bumps where you wanted them. They don't get their drinking creatine and protein without the work. Good job, man. But we're not done. Okay, we just finished off our lunges. Now we're gonna have the final sets of the day. You're gonna be burpees mixed with a chin-up, okay? He's never done these before. This is one of the most miserable things I've ever tried to do in my entire life. You do sets of 15, and I'm sorry. We're gonna do a total of 45. If you decide to do 30 in a row and then finish with 15, fine. If you can only do five in a row, do sets of seven. I don't care. You're gonna do 35. And you gotta finish to say within 10 every minute. So you have three minutes to do it, okay? This is just finishing him off, make sure there's no muscle that doesn't hurt in his legs and um, the glycogen is all gone. I wanna make sure that as we replenish, 
it was all gone. He's not gonna do cardio after this workout. So this is our last little effort to make sure that he burned as many calories as possible. Oh! Show me a burpee. A burpee. That's exactly what he's gonna do. I love it when they show. David, you show me. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, we drop down, do a burpee. We jump up. Do a chin-up. Okay? So, this is it. Chin-up bar isn't that high. So the idea is to jump into the motion and then lower yourself down as a resistance. So you notice that my drop was about a one-two count with a swing. I'll be honest, these are hard. If you don't swing, good for you. I swing. So either way around, just lower yourself down. It's kind of hard to get hurt in this position because you're jumping into it. So you ready? Let's do it. fitness model comes in to show us how to do the exercise, okay, so it's not fair. That's what in reality it will look like. If I'd done this man's workout, that's what I would look like. So, if you're doing this at the beginning of your workout, it should look like that. If you're doing it at the end of, uh, what, 20 sets of legs, it'll look like this. All right. One-on-one. One-on-one, let's go. One out, just one <laughs> Yeah. 
of his body communicating to him the transformation. Right now his body's just burning up fat, it's finding sugar anywhere it can, it's rebuilding muscles, all this is taking place, and it's basically being communicated as pain to him. Lack of oxygen is suffocation. So add pain and suffocation for an hour to your day, and tell me that is not the most alive you've been any hours of that day. I mean, those aren't necessarily the only range of emotions and feelings we want to have during the day, but those are the priority right now. What's your heart rate? 113. One what? 113. 113. What does that mean? Uh, it starts soon. Yeah. So usually when your heart rate says around 113, you start to go over and get ready. Because when it says 110, if you start to go over and get ready, you pretty much start again around 105. And there goes the whole accountability thing. Otherwise, we just start at 105. But then again, that would turn into 100. So. We never even play in the gray area. Time to start walking over there. So we say pain and suffering? Pain and suffering! Kind of like marriage. This is the <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. There's other reasons to get into. You ready? One. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. You got both of the motion. Two. Yes. Resistance is one of the easiest things you can do. Very few times in your life will you ever feel like this. 
I will say one of the intimidating parts about the heart rate monitor and accountability is once you've done it, you know how hard it is. You know exactly what you have to do to yourself again. And that, my friends, will make you emotional. Knowing that you have to go in and beat yourself up again and again and again and again and again. I used to have training partners that did. Why are we punishing ourselves? Why, why punishing? I love that word he used. And we were. We were punishing ourselves. Me, for the decisions I made when I was 20 trying to make up for him. Him? Because at his age, he could be in better shape. He has to punish himself to get back into his potential, where he could be. Share with the group, buddy. You're going to be in this spot for another 45 seconds, and you won't feel like this again for a while. Glad I didn't throw up on film. <laughs> Did you feel like you were going to? Yeah. <laughs> now, tomorrow, when you when you're hurting, okay? And I was explaining to the camera, but I lose clients because I, I do this to them. Tomorrow you're gonna hurt, the next day you're gonna hurt even worse. What's to make you want to do that again? Results. Accountability. But those people said they wanted results and accountability too. And yet I made them too sore. They just can't deal with it during their day. What is that? Failure? Is it an excuse? Is it me as a trainer? I'm overtraining him. Am I being too mean? I mean, you're not in a wheelchair. You're not. You don't have a disability. I can kick your ass, and, and then you're supposed to feel like you got your ass kicked. I, I'm sorry for the profanity. I don't usually do that, but I don't understand how it's to word it. No. So when you see yourself training in this video, and you look back, and you look into those eyes, and you look at that sweat on your shirt, remember that you did this. What did I say? What, what did I teach you? I said, when you go down, say parallel. And I added some weights that uh, I felt like would work, and I made sure we trained all the different parts of the leg. Um, upper leg, including glutes. But really, what else did I do? You can get that on a piece of paper. Hopefully what I did was coach you to a place mentally where you could push yourself physically that are new horizons that you would never do to yourself. Now the idea of doing that with a heart rate monitor is there's an accountability there. You'll think a hundred times on your own back in New York, I'm trying, I'm trying, my back's hurt, my, I'm sweating, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Good for you. You might be, and you might not be, but there is no accountability there. There's your head telling you you're trying. I used to have that too. Didn't make any money as a fitness model. Then I got a heart rate monitor. <laughs> then I knew that that burning of my abs when my heart rate was 89, it burned like heck. I can't even tell you it burned so bad, but my heart's 89. When I wore my heart rate monitor and I started getting my accountability back, a good set of abs, your heart rate's 120, 130. 115 depending on the movement. Burning aside, oh yeah, it's still burning. Imagine how much more it's burning. See, I forgot what burning was until I really pushed myself to my accountability, my personal trainer on my watch, on my, on my wrist. So all you have to do is duplicate those numbers. Now they're stored. Okay, so I've got to get to these places every time. Yeah. You know by a general rule of suffering that if you tried hard, your heart rate's 150. You know it's a new exercise and somewhat awkward if it hits 130. Now if you can warm up and hit 120 with shoulders, and you're telling me you just finished a set of bench press at 120, you didn't try. Flat out. Or you're warming up. Or your nutrition is off. That's it. Now I'll tell you what, I, I posted a video on uh, what to do when you have a bad workout. Sometimes you go in the gym and you'll be dying. You just mentally you're not there, something happened to work right before you left, your sugar didn't kick in, you're depleted. Whatever's on your mind and you're just not there, right? Because this is a mental game. Go in and do 400 of one exercise. If you weren't here mentally today, I'd have said, okay, we're doing 250 each leg step ups. Let's go. And that's all you had to do. It'd take you about 40 minutes. You're done. You didn't have to think, you know, like, like bench press, you have to actually think about the muscle group or you'll have big arms and no chest. You know what I mean? 
step ups, it's go up and down. I'll do that with dips. On a, on a really bad day, if I, if I just can't bring myself to do anything, I know damn well that if I do 400 dips, I'll be wrecked the next day. I will have gotten a decent workout. Mentally, I don't have to do anything other than close my eyes and man up. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about parallel. You just have to worry about stepping up and down. So, there's those two fixes. Either way around, your heart rate's gonna say, after 25 straight dips, 130, 40. How many calories have you been Does it show you? Go to the file, let's see. We're gonna check out how many calories you burned. History? Yep, total. So I'm gonna pick you back up. So basically, uh, we burned about 657 calories. Now we talked about uh, cookies earlier in the, in the video. I just looked at this because my roommates came back from camping and they had cookies and I wanted some cookies. So I looked exactly what the calories were. I looked exactly what was in them. Fat, sugar aside, all the crap aside. I could have literally six and a half cookies for this entire workout. Would you trade what this man just put himself through for six Chips Ahoy cookies? That big around. Would you? No. Now, 600 calories. If that came from fat, we need about five, well, 700. We need about five more of these to burn a pound of fat. A pound of fat's a lot of space. Okay, dense, dense meat, dense muscle. Well, it doesn't take up very much room. Okay, that's why muscles are so hard to get and so impressive when you get them. Fat, well, it's less impressive because it's easy to get and it takes up twice as much room. Or actually more than that. It's huge amount of space that fat takes up. So, acknowledging that if he doesn't screw this up and he goes home and he has this protein right now, some fast digesting, in a little while he gets some sugar in him and an hour later after that he eats a solid meal, he'll get to keep this workout. What does that mean? He gets to keep the muscle he built, and he gets to also keep the fat off that he used as fuel. Good job, man. Kind of confusing, but we'll cover all the bases. How do you feel? are very well. What hurts? But I'll go home. So, so let's say if we if we rewound this and put this at the very beginning of the workout. Right now we just killed today. What, what, if you were to tell anybody, if they followed this workout, what do you feel like muscle groups got worked right now? My butt, my quads, my hamstrings, my calves. And for those that don't know what a butt, quads, hamstrings, or calves are, please point. Butt, hamstrings, quadriceps, calves. Okay. Calves are secondary muscle. We didn't even train those today. Now show me what parts here, but you have a top and a bottom. Right so we're basically where the back fat is introduced to the butt muscle. Is that what hurts? So that transition, what we all want. Oh, how do I lose it right here? Hey, the trick is, guys, it has to come off of here first. Everybody always says, oh, I want to see my abs, I want to see my abs. And as soon as I grab their back fat and it just jiggles all over the place, I have to explain to them, I'm sorry, it comes off evenly. No way, because you know, I always like notice that that's how like, that oh, yeah. I always had that. Yeah. I always asked a thousand people how to get rid of this. I've heard a thousand different things. I've never heard that. Yep. Exactly. Now you would think they call it spot training, right? Well, if I train my abs, if I do 10,000 sit-ups, does that mean that I'll be really lean here? No, it doesn't. It means you have awesome bumps right there. Uh, if you did weighted sit-ups, and it's a whole. I'll answer that question in depth later. But yes. The idea is you would have bumps from doing all those sit-ups. It would have nothing to do with burning fat in that exact area. It's going to come off from everywhere. Uh, example, I was in France training with some guys, telling them how I do my cardio. And the guy said, Dave, why don't you take some time and do five to six hundred Roman chairs and call that your cardio. So I'd sit there, knowing my heart rate had to be 135 for my cardio, fat burning. Doesn't really matter what I did, right? So why not use my abs for my cardio? So I did my Roman chairs for literally almost an hour, trying to keep my heart rate as high as 135. I'd let it drop down to 120 when I was absolutely dying and get going again. 
So it was literally keep it there, let it rest for a little bit, and take as much as you can for as long as you can. That's what cardio is. So, two different ways to skin a cat. And last but not least, for a quick tip, abs. We're gonna go through two exercises, hanging leg ups and hanging knee ups. Touch your heels and stick them out in front of you to get that full extension, okay? Ideally, you lead with your heels and you don't touch anything and you bring them back up. If your knees do not break 90 degrees, you notice I had them bring them up a little bit higher, they were only coming to 90 degrees. Now you're getting obliques and hip flexors. We want to train abs. They gotta break 90 degrees in order to train the ab. So as soon as he started getting them up to here, as opposed to right here, from where his leg would be, now we're training abs, and it probably hurt a lot more too. Want to do one more? Okay, we're going to go through this one more time, see what we learned. We're going to start off with hanging knee ups, and then go into hanging leg ups. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for 10, he's not going to touch one time. So, one, two, slow down. Gymnasts, look at them all, they don't do what I do. Those guys probably look better, being fair, okay? He wants a six pack. Should he really do anything else in the gym other than what I just showed him that he can't do until he can do these? The answer is no, he didn't get it, rhetorical question. So if I'm his trainer, I say, hey, now you're only able to do the bottom half of those. So we're gonna do a lot of hanging knee ups. Then we're gonna do a lot of hanging uh, three quarters, okay? So from here, he's really having a hard time keeping his legs straight, bringing them up. He's only coming to here, which still hurts. So I would say the next one over was knee ups. Okay, now he's got those ones down. What's in the middle? Three quarters, bent leg. I'm his trainer, and I'm in New York. He's doing a hundred of these before he goes home every day. Every day. Now I promise you, the old saying, where strength this size follows, well that works with abs too. I don't know why everybody got away from strength and abs, thinking that uh, they were gonna overbuild their abs or, or the secret to six pack is thousands of non-weighted anything. Okay, no, it has nothing to do with the burn, my friends. You can burn your biceps all day long and have mosquito bites for bumps, okay? It's about doing the right exercise 
to build the muscle. This is where it's at for mass. One of my favorite rules of thumb is uh, in your abs, literally, unless it's like what I described with the Roman chairs and the whole intention is to do 500. If you can do more than 20 in a row, it's not heavy enough. You're not slow enough or you're just not mind-muscle connection. You know, I can sit and do sit-ups all day long without my abs hurting. That's it for today, any parting words? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time sitting down tomorrow and standing up from sitting down and it's going to look weird and people are going to ask me if everything's okay and I'm going to say, David King going to kick my ass. <laughs> what do you know, um, for anybody looking to sign up at my.com, for anybody uh, looking to get a little piece of data electronically, some of those things I'm whispering in your ear, is any of that helping? Is any of this, I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. not cheap. What, uh, what did you get? Did you get your money's worth out of this? Yeah, I mean, the one thing I can say is that, um, let's say, um, it's a mental, what I've learned from David, the most, actually, the most important thing I've learned from David is that um, it's a mental reset. It's being a lot more present and accountable for your progress at the gym and not just going to the gym and doing it and saying you went to the gym, it's doing it until you feel it. And that's something that I've been working on for 20 plus years and never really kind of got until now. And now I realize kind of what I need to do. Not fun, but that's how results are performing. Wow, that was very good. That, uh, he just basically quoted one of my favorite sayings. It's not going to the gym, it's what did you do in the gym that matters. Yeah.